Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan Ray again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about a tool and actually showing you how to use a tool called Social Blade. I use this tool a lot for YouTube because it tells me a lot about how I'm doing in YouTube, how is my channel growing, how is my subscriber count growing. So let's jump into my computer and actually start using the tool so that you know how to actually utilize its functionality. All right guys, so here is Social Blade and this is one of those tools that I really, really enjoy using because it allows me to track my progress as a YouTuber. So if you want to find out how you're doing, you basically go into the top right and type in your username. So as you type in your username, you can kind of see, you know, everything about your YouTube page. So you can see that, you know, I have 247 video uploads. You can see how many subscribers I have, how many video views I have, what country I'm from, when I actually created this user, and I created this user back in 2012, but it wasn't until seven months ago that I started to create videos. So there's a lot of information in here. You can kind of see that, you know, this is my latest video that I just released, which was just to explain the Oculus Star program because I'm a game developer. So the other thing is that is really inter interesting is that they give you a rating, you know, based on how you're doing, how your videos are ranking, how you know you're responding to your comments so there's a lot of things that go into that letter then you also get a subscriber rank so that basically tells you where you're standing as a you know as a youtuber the video view rank social play rank and and then other and all other statistics that are really really helpful the one that i really like to see is you can kind of see you know what i'm estimating on the monthly earnings which is five dollars to 72 i recently started these a uh, channel so I'm really not expecting to make money out of it. I'm just doing it right now for, you know, for branding and letting people know what I'm working on. So the other thing that is really interesting is you can actually see how you're doing on subscribers over time. So you can see that on average, I get about 31 subscribers per day, which means that, you know, on Monday I got 26 and then Tuesday 36. You can kind of see that on Wednesday, I got a lot more in that. It's basically because I've been, you know, I was pushing more content on that day. Well, that could mean that I push a really good video on that day and that got me more subscribers. So this tool is really, really helpful to see how you're doing over time in terms of subscriber counts. The other thing that I really look at every day is I also look at how many subscribers I'm getting on that day. So for instance, today I got 28 subscribers so far and that they just barely started. You can kind of see by looking at the live icon that this is the live subscriber count. The, the other thing that is really helpful is how you can kind of see the, the monthly views overall. You kind of see that in September I had, you know, about 8,000 monthly views and then October wasn't a good month because I wasn't really spending much time with YouTube. And then November kind of spiked up and then December we went down a little bit because of the holidays probably. And then now in January, I'm, I'm working really hard. I'm pushing a lot of content and people are loving the content. So I can kind of see that you that the content went from 8,000, you know, 790K to all, to all the way to almost double that amount. So you're going to see the monthly subscribers. So in here, I got 355 and then I got 312. And then things are just going up. And I'm, I'm really, really excited about that because it's, it's really telling me that the the people that are that are following me in the channel really love the content. I I really enjoy doing this, so it, this has been really really amazing for me. the The other thing that I that I really recommend that you look at as a YouTuber is look at future projections. So if I click on that, you can kind of see that you know if I so this is using basically an algorithm that Social Blade created, and and they can kind of forecast where you're gonna be in two months based on your current growth. So this tells me that in two months I'm going to be about, you know, 5,822 subscribers. Then four months I see 8785. Then six months about 12,000 subscribers. And then, you know, it keeps going up. And, and it's not that you need to look at these numbers just, just for the main reason why you're making content right now. It just gives you a better idea of where you're going to stand in the next, you know, in the next few years, in the next few months. So if I keep doing what I'm doing or improve, you know, in two years, I might get about 100,000 subscribers. And you can see that if I keep working hard and doing what I've been doing, I get about half a million subscribers in five years. So that is really cool. It's really interesting. 
and I really enjoy using this tool for, you know, just to give you my, an idea or where I'm going to stand. You can also do the same thing with views milestones. So if I look at right now, I can kind of see, you know, in 18 days, I'm going to have, you know, a prediction of 40, 4480 a milestone on views. I can also see on, you know, 20 days, 28 days from now, this is how much I'm going to get. So that gives you a better idea or where you're going to stand. I also enjoy looking at the graphs and, and how the subscriber count is going to keep incrementing. And what I've been doing is I've actually been taking a snapshot of these forecasts and comparing them with my current analytics in YouTube. So you can kind of use that just to make sure that, you know, this is aligning with what you're doing. It also, you know, pushes me to, to keep doing content and keep improving on my content. So not only the numbers, but also, you know, I know that if people are watching my videos, if people are looking at my content, everything is going to go up. And I, and I really enjoy doing that. I really enjoy teaching people and sharing them my content. So the other piece that I wanted to show you is look at the looking at the detail statistics. So you can kind of see that on Saturday I got, you know, eight more subscribers. And then this is how many how many views I got. So it gives you also an estimate on earnings, how much earnings you, you got that day. So this is estimating from 0 0.05 to 0 0.86 on that day. And then on the 13th, you can kind of get an estimate as well. And like I said, I'm not making any money with YouTube because I'm not a partner just yet. I'm really close to becoming a partner, but that's really not my main goal. So that's really what Social Blade is. And, you know, I would really recommend that you look at. There's a lot more features in here that you can look at. You can also look at your competitors. So I've been looking at other people that I follow and people that I like. And you can look and see how they're doing, how they started, and kind of look at their history because that really helps you understand you know how much you have to be pushing out how much work you know it also is to you know become a youtuber so that's everything i have if you guys have any questions let me know through the comments and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you very much guys